One of these watches cost $10, the other $1,000. Guess which one? This watch right here genuinely cost 10 US dollars. It is exactly the same as this Apple Watch. So I saw this on Amazon and I bought it because I wanted to see if a cheap smartwatch even does anything. You can see it's got all the apps and it does have phone connectivity, obviously only to Android because it is cheap. It's not gonna be connecting to Apple, but you can do phone calls, messages, everything that the phone can do to a degree. It's not as good as the Apple Watch, but it's pretty close, but for $10, that's not too bad. Let's look at the heart monitor to see if that's close. Really close, off by a few beats actually. Let's try out the exercise maps since I've gotten it. I'm gonna try a indoor walking or running. Both of them recorded basically the same distance. I got into the same heart rate zones and the heartbeats are still the same. That's really good considering it's a hundred times cheaper for this watch. The watch isn't fully waterproof, but it's water resistant. So don't go swimming with the watch, but it you know withstands against some rain. The screen looks pretty good, not as good as the Apple Watch. You can see it's not looking as good on camera, but not too bad. Overall, very decent, especially for $10. That tells me if this is very similar, maybe even upwards of 80% similar to the Apple Watch for $10. For $100, you could probably get something that's as good and for $500, probably better. But it depends if you want the whole Apple Watch thing because outside of being a smartwatch, the Apple Watch does a lot more stuff that these other watches don't do. These other watches are good basic smartwatches, but the Apple Watch really is a step above, but it is $1,000 basically, so it really should be.